All right, all right. Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? Welcome to the coming apocalypse. I'm Pastor Paul Begley, and uh, we're just now eight minutes away from the powerful uh, webinar, Apocalyptic Signs. And uh, you can go right now and get a ticket right now at publiclyprophecy.com. They're going to be sending the links out to your email in eight minutes. And if you need to call to get a ticket, do that right now. I got two phone lines open. And you can call either one as they're scrolling across there. Okay. Now, there, I have breaking news as well. We have had a mega quake. A very powerful earthquake has hit Indonesia. Very shallow also uh, has hit Indonesia. And uh, it's the preliminary reports is the concern is, will there be a tsunami? Uh, the preliminary reports are they don't think so. Okay. They don't think so. Uh, so let's. Let's wait. Let's see. Let's hope. Let's pray that, the, that the, we don't have a repeat of 2004 when an earthquake hit that region and created one of the worst tsunami situations in history. I mean, literally, with 250 or it was about 228,000 people were killed. So let's pray that doesn't happen. But the. Um, um, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I know. No notification. YouTube is just so wrong. I know. They, they're just not telling anybody what's going on. We're here now, and it is breaking news. There has been a 6.4. It was a 6.9. They have downsized it to 6.4, and it hit Indonesia. And I realize that, you know, here we are. We're talking apocalyptic signs, uh, and uh, we're talking about uh, a lunar eclipse, excuse me, yes, a lunar eclipse, a, blo a partial blood moon that we're going to have this Sunday night, a partial blood moon that we're going to have this Sunday night, unbelievable, um, and that'd be uh, incredible, and then April, I mean, uh, yeah, April the 8th, we're going to have this unbelievable, the great North American eclipse uh, going across the nation, uh, crisscrossing, uh, Heidi just did a phenomenal uh, presentation, and it will be posted. Uh, there was people watching live, but now they will post the archive of it on Patreon here within the hour. Okay, so you'll be able to go there and watch that if you're a member of our Patreon uh, family. Now, the main webinar, the rest of the story, the apocalyptic signs, that is starting in six minutes. You have time to get a ticket. You have time to go get a ticket. And even if you're watching me right now and it's past six, don't worry. We're going to be on the phones all night. We're going to be the, we're going to be sending these links out to people all night long. You can get a ticket right now. And, and I'm telling you, get a ticket right now um, because we want you to be blessed. We want you to hear these amazing speakers and their presentations. And this is jaw-dropping. I'm going to tell you right now, this webinar is jaw-dropping, okay? Go to my website at publiclyprophecy.com. Just go to publiclyprophecy.com. You'll see a banner across the front page. Click it. It takes you to the ticket. Get it done. And the speakers are dynamic. Pastor Mark Biltz gave one of the greatest presentations that I ever heard. I'm really serious about that. Just incredible. And also, BP Earthwatch, and, and Pastor Biltz, he fills that hour, over an hour of charts and graphs and shows you where we're at in God's timeline, in literally God's uh, calendar. Uh, it's the, these signs, as the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, for God um, made the, you know, he made the sun and the moon, basically, for the separate the day from the night, uh, also for signs or prophetic signs and seasons for days and years for the calendar. All this was put in motion. So Pastor Mark builds an incredible, unbelievable presentation. BP Earthwatch just will, I mean, no one's ever explained this. I've always said, are they, are they hiding Planet X from us? He shows you how it's being cloaked, how they're literally cloaking it. And he proves that he knows they can see it. So this is a great presentation by BP Earthwatch. You want to see this. And then, of course, uh, we also have uh, Rex Bear. Rex Bear did the best 
presentation he's ever done. I mean, really, he brings a lot of scripture connections of the Bible to these solar eclipses and also some of the ancient scripts, what they said. He also predicted 30 things for this year of 2024, of which six have already come to pass. It's an incredible presentation. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. And, of course, Doug Hagman covers the southern border, the invasion that's going on right now in the United States uh, from the southern border. It sounds like I'm tripping. I don't know. Do you guys hear me okay? Is it is there static? Uh, but anyway, uh, it is an unbelievable. And he had four, he had four guys embedded along the border. Plus, he has all kinds of never seen before pictures that just now going to be seen tonight, first time. Uh, that's going to blow your mind, and it shows you that hey, it's not all about the drug cartel. There's a lot of people involved in a planned invasion of what's taking place at the southern border. You don't want to miss that presentation uh, for sure. Uh, and Mike from around the world is just, it's jaw-dropping. It's jaw-dropping. He drops the bomb after bomb after bomb. Uh, it's incredible. So, uh, and the link, the link last is at least one year, one year for sure, and maybe longer. I have to talk. They, they store these on servers, and then I have to go back and, uh, you know, see if I can pay some more money to keep to keep it on the server for you. But you, we've already got it set up now that you have at least one year on the server. So get this webinar. You can watch it over and over and over. When you get the webinar, you can watch any speaker in any order that you want to, okay? So it's it's amazing. Also, there's a great interview I did with Mike Kerr and Jeannie Moore, and they show you some of the signs in the skies that we have been, uh, that people have been witnessing over the last year that I think is incredible, and, and, and it just really is. And we just thank God that um, Mike Kerr, after having uh, surgery, seven arteries that were blocked, uh, that God brought him through that. And, uh, and he's in recovery, but he was on, he's on this uh, webinar with his wife, Jeannie Moore, and, and they talk about the signs. My son, Bart Begley, did a great documentary, okay, on the history of the solar eclipses. And uh, I'm there uh, interviewing everybody. I'm, I literally interview everybody in this webinar. Uh, and, of course, I was also just, just got done helping Heidi on her presentation at Patreon. And that one would be the uh, posted on Patreon here within the hour. It should be. So right now, it's 6 o'clock. They're releasing them, okay? You can go right now to my website and get your ticket. Get your ticket right now. Or pick up the phone and call if you need help. If you need to purchase it by phone, do it right now. It's not too late. We're going to be taking phone calls. We're going to be working with uh, giving, people are going to be getting tickets all evening long. Uh, you can get it uh, at the website, but we're actually got two phone lines going. Let me put that up on the on the screen here. So if if you need to call to order your ticket and get your link sent to you ASAP right on the spot, that's one way to do it. Now the phones could be busy. If if one line is busy, then call the other one. Let me uh, let me put that up there. Why why can't I? Hang on, I just I'm getting uh, uh, I've been going. 150 miles an hour to be to be honest with you i really have been but that's okay uh, that's what we want to do here okay here we go let's put that up there. there it is so you can go to the my website and get your ticket right now get your ticket right now at my website or you can pick up the phone and call 765-414-2230 that's 765-414-2230 or call the other line, 765-414-6299. That's 765-414-6299. There's, there they are. Okay, I'm doing it. There we go. Get, get on the line. You can, you can call or you can go. Just go. Go to my website and get the ticket right now. Okay. Now, if you call on the phone and one line is busy, call the other one. If it's busy, wait five minutes. Call the other one. You'll get through. Okay, uh, you will get through. Just be patient. You will. If you don't need a phone call to, to place 
your order for the ticket, go to the website at paulbegleyprophecy.com and you can get it done. Lake Girl, Lake Girl just said, Lake Girl, Indiana, I think, just got my ticket. All right. Walter Ray said, I just got my webinar ticket a few minutes ago. All right. Karen Bacon said, just got my ticket 30 minutes ago. Praise God. Uh, so that's the way to do it, guys. That's the way to do it. Uh, and get the tickets and start the binge watching. And forget about Netflix tonight. Forget about Amazon Prime tonight. We get this link and start watching and, and learning and be enlightened for sure. Be probably mesmerized by the incredible, the incredible information that you're going to learn. It is unbelievable. It is not too late to register. You can get your ticket tonight. You can watch it tomorrow. Uh, you, you, you know, you can get your ticket in Jesus' name. And I'm telling you right now, be blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Because people are out there right now, and they don't have a clue. You know the world's going through. Right now, the world's just traveling 1,000 miles an hour going nowhere. 1,000 miles an hour going nowhere. It really is true, and it's sad. Um, so God wants you. God wants you to be fully informed. My people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. And we're not going to let that happen uh, with Publicly Prophecy Ministries and uh, these wonderful speakers who really come and really delivered and got great information. And last night's broadcast, you have to admit, was a dynamite program. And I want to thank uh, Rex Bear and Mike from around the world for tremendous. But what I really was so just so overjoyed with I was overjoyed with 92, 92 salvations last night documented uh, live on the air. Plus, there's been several more saved watching the archives. I mean, it was really incredible. It was really incredible. And it just made me believe that the, the revival days are coming back. The revival days are coming back, guys which is exactly what we want to see happen, uh, is God to move mightily in the land and that people can be saved and set free from the bondage of sin. And God is going to speak to us. This is a divine appointment. God is speaking. This is a very divine appointment right now. And get your tickets. Go right now to publiclyprophecy.com for the apocalyptic signs. And uh, we just, as we say in breaking news now, we've had a earthquake. It's hit Indonesia. It's a 6.4. It's only 8.5 kilometers deep, which is about five and a half miles. So it's very shallow, extremely. And there's been several aftershocks since this happened. Uh, today, there was a 4.2 Quake in Fiji, 4.5 Indonesia. There was a uh, 3.6 in Chase, Alaska. We had a 4.1 uh, earthquake in Russia. We had a 5.1 in Tiakistan, a 5.6 in Indonesia, a 4.5 again, Fiji. Uh, this is incredible, guys, and you start to see what's, what's going on here. And then we had a 4.8 in Greece, what? Yeah, 4.8 earthquake in Greece. 4.9 earthquake today in Papua New Guinea. The ring of fire was on fire. A 5.0, Indonesia. 4.6, Alaska. 4.4, Japan. Ring of fire. Ring of fire on fire. Uh, and then there was a, a 6.4, 6.4 mega quake in Indonesia. Thank you, Miss CD, for reminding me. If you guys go right now to your email and you can't and you don't see your link, check the spam, ma'am. Check the spam because man, yahoo.com and uh, gmail.com and some of these other they like to just take stuff and throw it into the spam. They they love to do that, um, especially when it's Christian material. We see this all the time. So check your spam. Your link might be there. Okay? Karen Bacon says I got my link. 
I'm going to go binge. Get some popcorn, okay? Get a, get, a, get a cup of coffee. You're going to stay up late tonight and really take a look at all those uh, and, and pick the one you want to start with. You can, uh, you can, uh, BP Earthwatch said, I got mine. All right. BP, your presentation was great. And now he's got his uh, link. He's got his ticket. He's ready. And uh, it's going to be uh, an amazing Amazing evening, and all evening long. If you're watching me live right now, you haven't missed the webinar. You, no, no, no. All evening long, you can uh, order your ticket and begin watching. And actually, even tomorrow, all day long, you can order the ticket. You can order your ticket all day long. You can uh, uh, all all day long, and even on Sunday, all day long. Okay. Uh, so, but right now, if you want to get the fresh. Right off the right at the moment, uh, right now is a great time. This evening's a great time to get a ticket and start watching. Uh, I'll say that because it's just incredible to me. Uh, but anyway, we're watching these earthquakes. Let me go on down the path here because it, it looks like the there was a after that 6.4 earthquake, there was an aftershock of 4.5 there in Indonesia. Alaska had another 3.0. Alaska's earthquakes are mostly in the Aleutian Islands there. There was a 4.7 in the Kermatic Islands, which is just north of New Zealand. We had a 4.8 in New Zealand, okay, at Arthur's Point. That's in the southern, right at the point, the southern tip of New Zealand. Uh, There was a 2.5 earthquake in Hope, New Mexico. Hope, New Mexico. New Mexico, there was a 4.8, again, in the Kermatic Islands in New Zealand, 4.1, right on that Aleutian Islands again, another quake, uh, 4.1, Alaska, then a 3.1 hit Rat Island in the Aleutian Islands, right there. That's right in the middle between Alaska and Russia, but it's still called Alaska. The very last tip there just had a 3.8 earthquake. We had a 4.2 in Chile. We had a a 2.6 in Pleasant Hill, California. We had a 4.6 earthquake in the northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. We had a 4.3 earthquake shaking things up again in Japan. And uh, uh, we had a 3.8 at Cruise Bay, U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, We had a 4.4 in Greece. And we just had a 4.1 in China. Uh, and so these these are the some of the quakes uh, of significance. Of course, everybody knows that for a few days now, we've had a lot of shaking, a lot of tremors, small quakes along the Cascadia subduction zone. It's been kind of a swarm. And a lot of people were concerned about that. Uh, but uh, hang on to your hat. What about New Madrid? What about... New Madrid, the Madrid, okay, fault line. What about that area? Uh, uh, Baby Huey says Islamist uh, terrorist attack in a Moscow theater has killed 40 people and wounded 100. Are you serious? Um, Let's let's do some, let's, let's do some, um, was it at a concert? Or what was it at? Let's see. ISIS. ISIS is claiming responsibility for an attack on a busy Moscow area, a concert venue. They've left 40 people dead and a 100 people wounded after the assailants stormed the venue with guns and incendiary devices. The terror group took responsibility for the attack, ISIS. In a short statement published by ISIS-affiliated news agency, uh, the group did not provide evidence to support their claim, but video footage from the site of the attack uh, at the uh, Crocus City Hall concert venue showed a vast complex, which is home to both the music hall and a shopping center, on fire so the place is not only where they did they shoot and kill 40 and wound 100 but now they're burning the place down as fire and smoke is billowing 
from the buildings there in Moscow, Russia, tonight. It's a terrible scene. Uh, they said that uh, there was individuals, multiple individuals, opened fire with automatic weapons, and then they threw a grenade, and the bomb exploded and caused a fire to break out. Then they allegedly fled in a white Renault car, a white Renault car. State Media Russia is reporting, State Media Russia 24 reported the roof on the venue was partially collapsed. So I'm not so sure that's a grenade, guys. That, that may be more of a some type of an incendiary device, some kind of a little bomb uh, that they, that, that, that sounds more than a grenade even. The attack unfolded before the music group Picnic was set to perform, according to Russia 24. The band's manager told state media that the performers were unharmed. And the Russian prosecutor's office, general office, said the unidentified people in camouflage broke into the Crocus City Hall and started shooting before the start of the concert, uh, according to Taz News Agency. Now, I'm actually looking at a picture right now of the gunman coming in with guns. Uh, the screen uh, there, this is a, from a surveillance above, and I'm looking right at it. Video footage showed panic as the attack unfolded with crowds of people huddling together, screaming and ducking behind cushioned seats as gunshots started echoing in the vast hall. Footage uh, also was, uh, got, was sent to CNN, shows the armed individuals starting at least one fire inside the venue. The individual is seen carrying something in their hand, and as they walk off screen, a bright flash of light from a large flame is seen in the video. Regional governors uh, said everything was being done to save people. A SWAT team was called to the area. More than 70 ambulances, teams, doctors are assisting victims. A hundred people were wounded, and uh, and uh, the injuries some are severe. Uh, Forty lay dead uh, in the hall. Today is a terrible tragedy for the, at the Crocus City Center. Uh, there in Moscow, Russia. And so, according to the Kremlin, Russian President Vladimir Putin was informed about the attack and is being kept updated on measures on the ground. And earlier in the month, the U.S. Embassy in Russia said it was monitoring reports that extremists have imminent plans to target large gatherings in Moscow, including concerts. And the embassy warned U.S. citizens to avoid large gatherings. So that was earlier in March. Our U.S. embassy in Russia were warning American citizens don't go in large gatherings, especially concerts. So they had intel on this. In a speech Tuesday, Russia's Federal Security Agency, Putin called the embassy's warnings about potential terror attacks in Moscow provocative saying these actions resemble outright blackmail and an intention to intimidate and destabilize our society. Well, I guess not. The threats were accurate and warranted. The warning by the U.S. Embassy was warranted. It was not to hurt the Russian economy. But the chatter, they picked up the chatter that ISIS was in the area, and so this is very sad. It's extremely sad, I can tell you. Uh, it's horrible, really. We pray for the Russian people. We pray for the families of all these victims. We pray for every one of them. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a horrific scene, to say the least. Uh, it really, really is. And, you know... You never know. We don't know. Um, give me one second here. Mass shooting in Russia. That's just terrible. It is. It is more than just sad. 
<sighs> Our prayers going out to the Russian people on this. We 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 really are. Our prayers are going out to the Russian people on this. The webinar has begun. You can get your ticket right now. Go to my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Go and get your ticket right now. Or pick up the phone and call. I got two phone lines open. One is 765-414-2230. The other one is 765-414-6299. And uh, get your ticket by phone if you want to do that. Or just go to our website at publiclyprophecy.com and uh, and uh, get your ticket there. As you see, I just changed the title over at YouTube. You can see I changed the title of the of the video: "Mega Quake Hits Indonesia, Mass Shooting, Russia, Forty Dead, A Hundred Wounded." This is a very, very, uh, a very situation. Very sad. All right, scripture reference. Just got my link. All right. Uh, praise God. Yeah, this is an incredible webinar. You know, the warning signs. But the ISIS says they did this. ISIS is is claiming responsibility. The U.S. Embassy was making warnings to American citizens in Russia, don't go to large gatherings. Don't go to venues like concerts. Because the, the intel that they were getting was a lot of chatter that a terrorist attack was coming there in Russia. And tonight in Moscow, it has happened. ISIS, terrorist organization, went into a concert hall, a theater, just before a concert. The band that was getting ready to play was a, a, a band called Picnic. This was no picnic. And the ISIS terrorists went in. With an open fire on the people, killing 40, wounding 100. Then they apparently threw a grenade, and then they threw some other kind of incendiary device, explosion. Part of the roof has collapsed, and the place is on fire. And uh, ISIS is claiming responsibility. Now, I, I just take that with a grain of salt because... You, you know, you wonder sometimes. You just don't even know, really, who might actually done it. Uh, we realize that ISIS has official websites, official links, so that, you know, each of these, Al-Qaeda does this, the Taliban does this, ISIS does this, uh, Islamic Jihad, Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, all of them have official websites when they want to uh, claim responsibility. And so uh, I still I still sit back and watch with caution. Uh, but I would say Putin is very angry. Now, Putin originally said the Americans are just trying scare tactics, just trying to uh, bring, you know, cause the Russian people hurt our economy. But uh, it looks as if the Americans, the American embassy warning that they sent out earlier in the month of March was correct. But again, I always say that uh, anything and everything is possible, and we'll continue to watch and see. Uh, it's just terrible what we're living. It's just awful what we're dealing with, guys. It really, really is. It really, really is. So if you uh, are ready... Tonight, I want you to enjoy this webinar. We will be on the phones all evening. Both lines are open, as you can see. You can go to my website right now and get your ticket. So what's happened? We've had a mega quake, a 6.4, that's done some damage in Indonesia. We don't know what that means because these little islands in Indonesia, some are crowded with people and some are kind of sparse. Now, that what we're concerned about would there be a tsunami? But apparently the tsunami warning has been lifted. So praise God for that because they had a tremendous tsunami back in 2004 that killed about 225,000 people. Okay. Um, so, yeah, people are going and getting their tickets. Everybody's getting in position now. Folks have already begun 
probably binge watching. I've already started. I wonder which. I don't want to. I don't want to go there, but you just wonder sometimes. Each person's different. When they get their their ticket for the webinar, their link comes in your email. The link will come in your email. But I often wonder which you know. What do they start at the top and work their way down, or do they jump around among some of their favorite speakers? Uh, do they watch the whole speaker? Or do they get some of that info and then say, and then they can put, you know, they can pause it and then they can jump and grab another speaker and watch some of that and then go back to the first one. I mean, you, you got all that access in this webinar. Uh, and we, you know, we pay to make sure that you have a first class experience. We also work very hard now uh, from when we first started, we learned how to do these. Uh, and uh, I want to thank. Uh, Israel Hall, who helped me film every one of these uh, in the studio, uh, and not only to film it, but to make it look uh, so you can see all the graphics and all the charts. Also, he makes the audio sound real good, so there's no audio problems. You can hear everything. I mean, there's no flaws in this. It's extremely well done. I want to thank him for that. I want to thank my son, Bart Begley, who works on the video side of it uh, and the organization of that. And um, and doing all the uploading and all of that work to get it uh, in position so that it's ready to go. I want to thank Jade, who then uh, sets it up and puts it on the servers and 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 coordinates it with our uh, so that you, when you get the link, immediately have access. And he does a great job with that. I want to thank all the volunteers uh, that have helped. Uh, encourage people to get tickets. I want to thank the girls that are on the phones right now taking uh, orders as people are, are getting their tickets. I want to thank Heidi for working, you know, tirelessly, uh, exhausting, uh, really, with everything that goes on here because, you know, we don't just do a webinar, which is an, in itself takes hours to do. We don't just do that. While we're doing that, we're keeping YouTube videos going and keeping you up, up to date. We're doing live shows like Thursday night and Sunday night. We're sending blankets to the people that are sick who need a miracle, Bibles to those that request them that need them, prayer cloths to the people who are sick and need a tangible touch from the Lord and know that we're with them. Uh, the, you know, we're involved with grief packets. We're involved with our Pakistan uh, orphanage, making sure that the rent is paid, making sure that they have funds with, with 38 kids there. We make sure we're, we're, we're involved with our Indian uh, missions work with 250 pastors, uh, making sure there's funds there so that Sammy can continue to move forward with the work to help evangelize five different providences in India. I, I don't never say enough about that stuff. You know, I just don't. I just try to bring you what you guys like and and then let you know how you can help but really i think I, you know i really probably should spend more time on all of the all of the work behind the scenes the work with my whether it be my sons uh you know or granddaughters and and uh, st- you know Volunteers and staff. <laughs> I mean, everybody involved, really. Um, and at the end of the day, it's all about getting 92 people on a live broadcast. Think about this a minute. Thursday night at 20 minutes after 11 Eastern on a YouTube channel. 9,500 people were watching simultaneously. And 92 of those typed in the chat room, I want to be saved. 92 people. And so we were able to pray with them and lead them to the Lord. And we've got that documented. We know who they are, their names. And we encourage them to get baptized. I'll probably end up baptizing some of them. And uh, we want to make sure that they get on the right path. And while that's all taking place, thank God 
people are still getting saved on that video as it's still being watched. But I just think maybe I should stop and thank people and let everybody know uh, the effort it takes so that you can have at your fingertips the gospel of Jesus Christ and all of the current events that's going on that pertain to biblical prophecy and to try to bring it to you. Because, you know, look, we're not some big media thing. I mean, I'm, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here in a spare bedroom. Heidi's sitting at the dining room table. Uh, the, the, you know, the, yeah, sometimes I go over to the FFC TV studio and sometimes when I'm when I'm in Indiana, which I'm going to be up here pretty soon now, uh, really spring and summer quite a bit, I go and then with my son Brock Begley, we're able to go into the uh, studio up there in Indiana. But really, I just want to thank everyone. Thank all these moderators that work so hard. They never know when I'm going to pop up and go live other than the scheduled ones. And they half the time they don't get notified. They have to keep checking to see. That must drive them insane. I don't even know how they do that. Maybe they just have a channel they turn on and they leave it there. And if I jump on it, they can see it. I don't know if that works even. I don't even know if that's how things work. All right. Get your tickets. For the webinar links are being sent right now. The, a, a lot of them already went out at 6 o'clock. If for some reason you didn't get your link, check your spam. Check the spam, man. And if you can't find it, pick up the phone. Call the main number, 765-414-2230, or call the other number at 765-414-6299, and let us get that link in your uh, right on your email so that you can get started. So if anybody's having any kind of issues out there, Know that you can do that. Um, uh, praise God. And yes, and with the censorship, the webinar is a way of getting the truth. You're exactly right, Deanna. Thank you for saying that. I mean, uh, wow. There's so many subjects and there's so many things that I would like to say you can't say in on these uh, social platforms for the most part. Um, you could you can get you get by with a little better at Patreon, um, but you really can't. Uh, you, you, so you, unless you have your own your own servers and your own uh, paywall set up so that you're able to do that and, pretend, and then you can speak as freely as you need to. So, um, But you know what? Even that, even that, there's a day coming out there. Yeah, I use Rumble as well. Rumble's, of course, a little more better. It, Rumble is is better. You still can't go as far as you want, but you, you can go. You can go further with Rumble, and and you can be a little freer. Um, there, and sometimes I tech I I send tweets out at uh, X, um, but there's so much shadow banning. I mean, there's even shadow banning going on at Rumble. I mean, it's it's really remarkable. Uh, they try in their best to be as open to everyone as possible, but so it's a war. It is a war. But you know, God is winning the war. Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father." Yes, at the webinar, do they talk about our border? Absolutely. Doug Hagman gives you a whole hour presentation, shows you photos that's never been seen and has great info because he had four people embedded in the border. So that is an unbelievable documentation and information that he shares, Doug Hagman. So you you definitely want to watch that tonight. All right, guys. Uh, again, Thank you so much for all of your support, and thank you for helping uh, with your tithe and offerings, and thank you for your special donations even. Thank you so much. And for every person also who got a ticket uh, today, thank you so much for being a blessing uh, as we go forward. 
and don't miss Sunday Night Live because uh, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a giveaway Sunday Night Live Sunday Night Live giveaway. You don't want to miss that. All right, guys. God bless all of you. I love you. I'll be back more. Keep looking up. Keep looking up because your redemption is drawing nigh. God bless.